Previously on Dragon Ball Z, it was Raditz. A sinister warrior from outer space claiming to be Goku's older brother. But Raditz proved he had little regard for family as he dealt Goku a devastating kick that left Earth's best fighter in the sand. Unlikely alliance. Raditz demanded Goku eliminate 100 Earthlings by tomorrow. Once this demand is complete, he can join Raditz, but if he does not complete this task, Gohan will undergo a untimely demise. Raditz says, after they destroy the first planet, they will come back and destroy Earth, with or without Goku. Gohan's abduction by Raditz leaves Goku in distress. Goku and his friends try to devise a plan to stop Raditz, but he is too powerful for Goku alone. Goku remembered when he had a tail if anyone grabbed it, it would immobilize him. They are going to use it as Raditz's weakness. Master Roshi volunteered him and Krillin to help Goku, but Goku mentioned they were brought back to life and they wouldn't be able to come back again. Krillin wants to help but doesn't want to die. They wonder how they would find Gohan. But Bulma remembered Gohan had a Dragon Ball on his hat and they find him with the Dragon Radar. Goku says he is going to go after Raditz and asked Master Roshi and Krillin if they are ready. After Goku and Piccolo takes off, Master Roshi is in awe that the two most powerful fighters Earth has to offer has teamed up. Krillin and Bulma doesn't trust Piccolo, but they don't have a choice at this point. The three prepare to travel to the Raditz's location to watch the fight of the century. Chi-Chi is wondering where Goku and Gohan are. She is proud of Gohan's academic progress. She wonders what else Gohan's career can be. Meanwhile, annoyed by Gohan's cries, Raditz locks the boy in his space pod. His energy measuring device, a scouter, reports an unusually high energy level from Gohan. Raditz dismisses the readings as a malfunction and Goku and Piccolo are getting close to Raditz's location and Goku forms a plan to attack by surprise. Piccolo says it is no use because Raditz's scouter can pick up their power levels. So Goku says they have no choice but to attack head on, find solace in a meal. But the persistent high energy levels continue to irritate him. The scouter registers two approaching power signatures, identified by Raditz as Goku and Piccolo. Initially skeptical, Raditz questions how they could track him. To his disbelief, Goku and Piccolo arrive, validating the scouter's functionality. Raditz struggles to comprehend Gohan's extraordinary power level. Goku and Piccolo prepare for battle. Goku and Piccolo shed some clothing revealing their use of heavy garments for conditioning. Preparing for the impending battle, Raditz attacks Goku and Piccolo. Despite their combined efforts, Goku and Piccolo prove no match for Raditz's overwhelming power. Raditz tells Goku and Piccolo he is just getting warmed up and they are in awe. What sort of gruesome foe is this? Who stands like a giant between Goku and his son? What are the true limits of his power? Even with their forces combined, there is little hope for defeating this mighty villain. But will they overcome the odds and find a way to take him down? Find out as the battle continues on. Next Dragon Ball Z, 